Okay, so basically, um, Hotel Chocolat have been really, really kind and sent me this huge box of surprises because basically, I think I said basically already, haven't I? <laughs> oh my god, okay, so, Biscuit of the Gods, chocolate pillows, yum. Oh my god! Right, so, I got raspberry and white hot chocolate, which I did request because I haven't tried this one before. I also got oh, my fave, salt caramel. And then also the mint, I requested this one as well because I haven't tried that, so it doesn't. God, what else did I get? Oh yeah, did I mention? This is PR gift. PR gift? I'll put it all over the screen. I'm so excited. <laughs> illegal? Why is it illegal? <laughs> Why is it illegal? <laughs> illegal. Yeah, Cashew nuts, peanut butter. Pistachio. Pistachio praline. Pistachio. Pistachio. Yeah. Dizzy praline. Ooh, you die. Florentine Isabel. Looks weird. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a fondue set? Dipping adventure. <laughs> Probably crap. <laughs> oh God, this is the best day of my life. So we've got ooh, sort of caramel puddles. Puddles? Puddles. <gasps> fudge sundae. Mm. Cocoa fudge. Mm hmm. And then we got batons. Baton. A baton. I was not expecting this much stuff. We've got a block of caramel. Ooh, Rocky Road. Mississippi Mud Pie. What? Mississippi Mud Pie. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Did I say it wrong? Isn't it Mississippi? That's what I said, isn't it? Is it Zippy? Mississippi. <laughs> oh, Mississippi. <laughs> All right, milk. <laughs> milk. Oh, milk and cookies. Cookies and cream is broken, but that's fine. I'll eat that for breakfast. <laughs> right, guys, me and Eli have been wanting to try these for so long, but we just never really got around to buying them. Um, so this is really like, <laughs> there's cocoa gin, right, I know, another cocoa gin, we then have chocolate cream liqueur, another chocolate cream liqueur, and then we have salted caramel vodka liqueur, another sort of caramel vodka liqueur, so... <laughs> Been so spoiled by hotel chocolate. Anyway, yeah, guys, sorry, I just had that huge parcel and I haven't really kind of introduced the video that much. Um, but I hope you're all well. Today is Tuesday. You're probably thinking, why should I sign a weekly vlog on a Tuesday? Well, I forgot to vlog yesterday and I thought, crap, I'm just gonna start today. Um, yeah, so happy Tuesday. Um, I've literally spent the morning just kind of doing emails and just bits and bobs on the laptop really um and then the parcel arrived so i opened that and then we quickly facetimed isaac which is eli's brother to show him everything that i got because i was so excited and then now i'm just about to send over some content and create a caption ready to send off for approval and then what else have i got planned for today i can't think oh i need to film two videos as well and i also want to start to reorganize my wardrobe and kind of give it a good clear out. I kind of realized that a lot of my clothes are just cheap shit and things I only wear once and I really want to get out of that habit um, and really just start thinking more about what I'm actually buying, am I gonna wear it again, is it gonna last and all that. So yeah, I'm really, I'm weirdly really, really excited to uh, give it a good clear out, get rid of all the shit um, and just be left with some really nice pieces and i think i'm just really really excited for autumn as well so 
I think that's why I'm mainly doing it. Because <laughs> I want to see all my jumpers. <laughs> I've missed them. Um, but yeah, we were going to go to the beach today. But then I went to the beach yesterday and I burnt my legs really, really badly. Because I'm a fucking idiot. So we were like, okay, we can't go to the beach today. And I've got to stay out of the sun. But to be honest, it's not actually that nice outside. Like it's blue sky, but then it's like cloudy and stuff. So I don't really think we're missing out on too much. Okay, I am all ready. Um, yeah, I kind of like doing this little kind of tuck thing behind my ear and pull it forward. It kind of gives me like imaginary, no, false, false bangs. Don't know, I went through a phase where I was like, oh my God, I need to cut bangs into my hair. And I was too much of a pussy and I didn't do it. Um, so yeah. But anyway, my outfit, I'm wearing this little, it's not really a cardigan. It's like a knitted little top. Um, although I've tucked it in and it keeps doing this little thing, it's like, what? It's like a beautiful mint green, it's from ASOS, and then I'm just wearing some straight leg jeans, which are from Primark. And then I've got my and of a story hoop earrings in. But yes, I'm going to film an ASOS haul, and then I think I also need to film a couple's Q&A video, because I was supposed to do that a while ago, and I didn't actually get around to doing it. So I need to do that. Um, with Eli today and then I do want to go out and shoot a picture in a beautiful dress this one if you follow me on Instagram then you would have seen me wearing it from Topshop um, but I want to shoot that today um, so yeah got a nice busy day planned but yeah I just wanted to update you so I've just found some Instagram stories to show all the Hotel Chocolat stuff that I got gifted and Honestly, my excitement in those stories is ridiculous. Like I haven't, I was saying to Eli, I haven't even had any chocolate yet and I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, so yeah, here it is all kind of lined out. Look, I think I've literally gone to chocolate heaven. Okay, so guys, I've, we've decided to go for the biscuits. Chocolate pillows, that's what they're called. And you get milk chocolate, salted caramel, hazelnut, and mint. As you can see on the back. Ooh, these are fancy. Look at those. Right, what colour do we... We'll say on the packet, will I want the um, oh, salted caramel. Yes. What flavour do you want? Well, we're going to be trying all of them. Do you want milk, them, chocolate, then? salted caramel, hazelnut, or mint? I'll try the hazelnut first. Hazelnut, yeah. All right. Um, look how cute the packaging is. So adorable. There you go. Mm. Oh, damn, son. Look. It smells good. Come on, focus on the fucking biscuit. Look at that. And it's also got it on the back, too. I think mine was a slightly darker chocolate. Oh, yeah, this is Eli's. He's got the hazelnut. So here's his dark chocolate I think. Holy shit this is amazing. Oh right so you get the sweetness first and then you suddenly get like the saltiness from the biscuit. It's delicious. So good. Yeah. This is biscuit of God. Okay I have changed my outfit um, because it's a little bit cold outside. I will show you my outfit. So, let's start from the top. These are the oval Ray-Ban sunglasses. Oh, Eli, you are, <laughs> you're, is it, you okay being in it? <laughs> um, I've then got a just a little kind of white vest, <laughs> which is from Topshop. Um, chain is from Topshop as well. I then have this really cool kind of camel beige color jacket. This is from Monkey. Um, and then this bag, which is going to be in the ASOS haul, which I just found, so you've probably seen already. Oh my, do I look really dark? Yeah, I'm a bit dark, aren't I? What's going on here? No, 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 that's better. Um, yeah, so this is the kind of slouch oversized bum bag, which is from ASOS. Um, and then I've got my Primark straight leg jeans, which I love. And then I've also got my Teva sandals in the colour olive, which are ridiculously comfortable. I don't know how comfortable I feel about putting my toes on YouTube, but there you go, they're out there now. Yeah, they're there now. 
so here's my toes um but this is the full outfit but i think we're just gonna go for a little walk and potentially get a coffee a nice coffee who knows maybe probably um i feel like you suggested getting a croissant earlier and now i'm really craving a croissant no i haven't i've just had chocolate biscuits from hotel chocolate so yeah maybe get some snacks to all boyfriend problems <laughs> <laughs> she <made> my laugh. <laughs> okay, we're back now, as you can see. In Sainsbury's, these are the carnations I picked up. I've got a really lovely kind of pastel yellow. And then I really liked these. They were like white with um, like a little pink on the edging. Can you see that? So no, I just thought it was super, super cute. So got those, they're only £2.50 each. I thought the colours together were really, really lovely. We didn't really go into many charity shops, but into about, what, three? But I did pick up these two glasses. Now, we don't have any wine glasses. Um, we've only just got kind of like really short Ikea ones. And don't get me wrong, I know these aren't wine glasses, but they're just a little bit more nicer to have like any alcohol or wine in them. Um, so I've got these. I just thought they were really, really cute and they're quite like fancy. So these were only £1 each. Happy with those. And then the other thing that I got is this little glass bowl here. There's one on um, Urban Outfitters that I really wanted to buy. And it had like little legs so it was probably a little bit nicer. But it was £12 and I got this one for one quid. And I just bought some strawberries from Sainsbury's that I'm going to put in here and do a cute little picture for Instagram. That's what I bought from the charity shop. So, don't go too crazy. It's four o'clock now. I don't know where the time's gone. Okay, so here they are in the bobble vase. And um, you can kind of see here, this is what they're gonna look like when they properly open. And then you've got the pastel yellow as well. Um, there's a lot of buds, so I reckon in a few days time they will open up and look beautiful. And then I also just put in some single stems in here. Cause I thought that could, look, that could look quite cool. So, yeah, we'll see about that one. That's gonna go in the bedroom, that one. Um, but it looks so pretty. Yay. Okay, I kind of can't resist. I just wanna put the strawberries in this little glass bowl. So that's what I'm gonna do. <gasps> they look freaking adorable. <laughs> okay. Ow. Are you wonky? No. Um, right, what am I doing? Picture. Ah. Um, you can't see what I'm doing. Let's show you. So let's get it up. Let's do, let's get rid of a little pasta stain right here. We don't want that. We could do killer strobes. I kind of want a flower. Should I get a flower? Let's put a flower out. Yeah. This way. Cute. Adorbs. Completely adorbs. The apple are red, blooms are green. Strawberries sweeter than any I've seen. Strawberries riper than any I've seen. No, it's not right. It's not right. They're not the lyrics. What's the lyrics? I'm gonna have to find those lyrics. Cause that's gonna bug me. That's really gonna bug me. Let's get this up. I cannot live another second of singing the wrong lyrics. The apples are red. Is it the plums are ripe? No. Cauliflower fluffy song, that's it. Cauliflower fluffy song. Let's go lyrics because I don't want to hear it on YouTube. I want to just sing it. Oh, here you go. Cauliflower fluffy and cabbage is green. Strawberries are sweeter than any I've seen. Beetroot's purple and onion's white. Warm grows steadily day and night. Here's what I'm singing. Oh, the apples are ripe. 
not the apples are ripe, the apples are ripe. The apples are ripe and the plums are red. The broad beans are sleeping in their blankety bed. Yeah, tune. There we go, day's made. Okay, I have the dress on, let me show you. So I've got it on underneath here. Um, and I'm just wearing a jumper because we're gonna walk to the park. But I'm thinking, I'm not sure whether I want to have strawberries in the picture. You know, because they just look adorable and I feel like they've got really good with the dress. So I'm bringing the little bowl of strawberries in my little straw bag and yeah. But the vision I have is very like, very kind of like floral garden fairy vibes and yeah, I kind of just want like green and very kind of summery. So we'll try and capture that. I'm hoping that it's not going to be too busy. Probably will be because it's really nice and sunny still outside and it's 20 past 25 past 7. Um, so it's slightly cooler, so I feel like people are just going to be like, chilling there, but yeah, I'm hoping it's not too busy, but we shall see. Um, we found somewhere, there was a lot more people than I thought there would be, um, and I got really anxious and self-conscious. But we have found somewhere, and I now have to take my jumper off, which I'm nervous to do. <laughs> I don't know. We got the shirt. Right, time to go home now. <laughs> okay, I actually think that shoot went quite well. I did a little behind the scenes so you can see me posing. <laughs> kind of funny. But I need to quickly go through some emails and then I am going to, I think, start editing the ASOS haul. Have I got hairy armpits? Mm, a little bit. Um, I'm gonna start editing that ASOS haul so it can go up tomorrow. Oh, that's a really bad bun. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Um, God, I need to wash my hair tonight anyway. It's just got past the, the point where it's a bit, you know, really gross. Um, but yeah, literally just gonna be sat on my laptop, not on my laptop. And we sat at the desk with my laptop. Oh, um, doing stuff. Oh my God, I literally cannot speak. Struggling to get my words out. Um, but, oh my God, just pulling so many pieces of hair out. But anyway, I will probably catch you later. I mean like later, later this evening. So yeah. I did it. <laughs> I finished editing the video and it is now 5 to 11. I'm going to go have a shower and go to sleep because I am fucking knackered. So, see you tomorrow. Hello guys. Um, happy... Wednesday. I just had a meeting with my managers which was really really good um, and now I'm literally just gonna get ready because I just I really struggled to get up this morning I was really, really lazy and I slept in until like half nine which is not good I wanted to wake up early but I didn't um, look Christmas jumper again I'm pretty sure every video I'm wearing my Christmas jumper I think I need another Christmas jumper um, but yeah, I'm going to get ready and then I, what do I want to do today? Oh, let's check the diary. So today, the plan is, got my coats in the background. I can't wait to be able to wear coats again. So, meeting, ah, 
hit my fucking knee. Meeting at 11, I can cross off because we have done that. I then also need to um, take out my trousers, send some parcels back, sort out my taxes, create a thumbnail, create links for YouTube video, and sort out my Wi-Fi. So nothing too exciting today. <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry if you can hear like the dustbin men outside. They're really, really loud. Um, oh, did you hear that? But yeah, I'm gonna get ready and I'll catch you then. Okay, before I start getting ready, I think I'm gonna grab a little thing from the uh, my hotel chocolate goodie box. I don't know what to get though. What should I get? What should I have? Okay, I've decided to go for the fudge sundae. Oh my god. What a good one. Hello! You can see I'm all ready and dressed. I haven't really picked up the camera in the last few hours. I basically did a little bit of emails on my laptop and then I made lunch and watched some friends. Had a really quick little FaceTime with my sister so I had to catch up with her. And then now, here I am. So basically, there's this brand called, I think it's Malfi. I think that's how you pronounce it. They wanted to send me some gin, which I'm really, really grateful for. So this was actually kind of gifted to me. But they also wanted to send me a lemon tree, which I was like, oh my God, yes, that sounds amazing. I'd love, yeah, I was like, yes, please. Um, and basically, I don't think the lemon tree did too well in the delivery. So yeah, let, let me just show you. This is the lemon tree here. <laughs> so it has some lemons on it which is great but it literally has one two three leaves on the whole tree um so it looks a little bit bare and the reason it only has three leaves is because when i opened the package the box all the leaves were just had fallen off they had all fallen off and these are the only ones that seem to be kind of stable and still on the tree. So we're trying to, you know, bring it back to life and look after it, give it some love and water it, but uh, I, I don't know. Um, but <laughs> I want to take an Instagram story to say like, thank you for my gin, but I'm like, oh, the tree looks a little bit pathetic. But I think me and Eli are going to head down to the beach because obviously my legs are still very, very burnt on the back. They have got better, but they're still very stingy and sore. And I didn't really want to go to the beach to like fully sunbathe today because it would, just, would have been stupid. We're going to bring the gin and the strawberries that I bought yesterday and just have like a cute little kind of picnicky it's like a little date afternoon on the beach with some drinks and stuff so that's why i'm wearing a dress because it's kind of like flowy and airy and pretty so that is the plan okay before i actually leave to go to the beach i've just had zara parcel arrive literally in your order about three things hairband do this and it's proper like um it's like textured as well and i really love the colors just thought it's really cute i don't know how i'm gonna wear it no idea and then i got this t-shirt which i'm not gonna lie online it looked more like a, a bit more of a khaki brownie green but it's quite beige but i don't mind this this little knitted cropped jumper top thing I think it's quite sweet yeah, that's cute. but imagine it with like some my dad jeans or straight leg jeans um i'll probably try it on later when we come back so we'll let you know how it looks um but yeah that's all i bought So we've come back for dinner because we are going to make pizzas, which I'm super, super excited about. We bought these pizza bases um, from Sainsbury's, it's a two pack. And then we just kind of bought like peppers, 
like to free cheese. Um, this is, oh, what's that? Tomato puree. Tomato puree. And then I'm gonna just kind of create our own pieces. Oh yeah, I've got our peppers in there just to lighten them up. Not lighten them up. Um, soften them up. Soften them up a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Make dinner. my one i don't really like that much cheese uh so i'm going too overboard this is eli's <laughs> literally a huge kind of a pile they all, all go down there she goes boom, boom. why did i just go boom boom as a brush yeah, boom 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 it's a pizza pizza <laughs> I'm very, very hungry. Mm. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. They're out! Yay! Which one's mine? Oh, this one. <laughs> Whoa. Mmm. Look how good that looks. Damn, son. We made good pizza. Right, we're gonna eat our pizzas on the floor. <laughs> um. Oh. Is it down? <laughs> And then I'm gonna get up. Where is it? Frozen? Why are you focusing? Come on, camera. Is the camera frozen? <laughs> wow. I did not enjoy that. <laughs> Chris, oh, we don't want to resume. Was, 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 um. <laughs> Fuck it, yo. We're gonna eat dinner. Bye. Hello. It is later in the evening. I think it's like I'm trying to leave my head on the the bed, but I can't because I've got like a clip. Anyway, yeah. So it's quite late in the evening now. Um, we had our pizza and we watched Frozen Two. I don't really know whether Eli enjoyed it, but I did. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I've just got the kettle on because I'm really in the mood for a whipped coffee. Like, do you remember when it was like the huge craze and everyone was doing it? But I used to have them like every single day when it was like the beginning of lockdown and we were all very much stuck in our homes and um weren't really allowed to go out but now the restrictions have lifted and we are able to go out and get coffees from cafes and stuff um but yeah it just feels feels crazy thinking back like you know april time all of that was happening um Anywho, yes, I am making myself a whipped coffee because I'm really craving whipped coffee. And yeah, I'm going to go make my coffee because the kettle's just boiled. Okay, so guys, here is one of the Zara tops I've just tried on. Um, excuse this on the floor. Basically, was trying all the stuff on, didn't get around to actually tidying it up. Um, but this is it here, um, and I'd have like the necklaces out. But yeah, I love it. It's like a really cute, like kind of knit. Can you see? There you go. Um, it's a really cute knit. And I'm thinking as well, in like autumn or winter time, this would look so cute, kind of just over like a big white shirt. Um, so I'm going to try on the t-shirt, and we'll show you that as well. I really don't know whether like lighting is bad in here. Um, this is the green t-shirt. You can kind of see the colour. It's like a very kind of pale sage green. Um, but I really, really like it. So we'll definitely be keeping this top as well. Um, but what I really want to try, is I want to try the headband out now. The, the scarf is really fucking tight on my head. I don't know if I have a really big head or the scarf is just really, really small. Um, but yeah, I... I do think I'm going to wear it like this, and let me take this out. Even with my hair down, it's just not, I just don't think it's really the vibe that I go for. No, I just don't think it's the right kind of vibe on me. Do you know what I mean? 
No. Don't like it. I'm gonna send this back because I'm not gonna waste eight quid. <laughs> okay, yeah, that headscarf is definitely going back. Um, I tried looking for some inspiration on Pinterest and how to actually like basically how other girls wear it and just wasn't really wasn't working. So yeah, gonna send that back. But I'm definitely gonna keep this t-shirt and then the little knitted crop top as well because that was super duper cute. Um, but I am going to get ready for bed and chill and just go on my phone and stuff. So I will probably catch you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Um, it is 25 to 11. Um, I woke up about quarter to nine today, which is a lot earlier than yesterday. Just kind of being like chilling in bed, going on my phone, on my laptop and stuff. Um, I'm just about to start getting ready for the day. But yeah, I haven't really done much this morning, apart from literally had a cup of tea and chilled in bed. Okay, we are ready. So me and Eli are going to the Ivy today in Brighton. <coughs> I'm gonna cough. <laughs> it's a um, complimentary visit, which is really, really lovely. So the meal will be gifted. I've never been to the Ivy before, so I'm really, really excited. Um, but you do have to dress kind of like smart casual. So I'll show you my outfit. I am wearing the um, new Zara t-shirt, which I showed you yesterday. Um, I just love it. I think it fits really nicely. Also, sorry, I've got the washing in the background. A messy desk, a messy kitchen side. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's my jumper on the floor. Yeah, so I can all that. Um, but anyway, yeah. So Zara t-shirt. I then have these cropped um, wide leg monkey jeans. They're kind of like an off-white, you can't really see it in the mirror, but then they have like the really nice kind of um, like the contrast stitching here. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing those. And then I've just got on my super old beige Topshop sandals. Um, and then this bag as well, which is in my recent ASOS haul. And then obviously belt is Try Shop, my little lady necklace is from Daisy Jewelry, and then my wavy hoop earrings are from And Other Stories. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. I'm really hungry, because I haven't had breakfast, so saving myself for this meal. Um, I'm a little bit nervous. I never normally have like posh, fancy food. Um, so yeah, I'm, for some reason I'm really, really nervous, but um, I'm sure I'll enjoy it. Um, just come back from the ivy and it was so delicious let me put these off actually i've never really been to the ivy before i went once for an event in london but i got really really bad like travel sickness and anxiety and i didn't actually get around to eating anything when i was in the london one so i've kind of never really experienced the food before so this was like the proper first time for me and oh my god it was delicious as you would have seen, I put some clips in that I filmed on my phone. I loved the food there. It was delicious. I tried the pea soup, which I never thought I'd ever try in my life. Um, but it was weirdly delicious. So, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't buy it in a supermarket. Um, but I wouldn't rank it as gross. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, well, I was just wearing these because these came through the post. And these are blue light glasses from key is it key or is it quay i don't know um they're quite cool though aren't they look at them they've got like the tortoise shell on the bottom and then the metal on the top yeah i quite like these these were kind of given to me gifted hashtag gifted um but look <laughs> this is what i look like right now i've had to undo my uh <laughs> my jean my button and my belt because i just feel i feel so stuffed Okay, it's a little bit later now in the evening. I want to say it's like seven o'clock. Eli, what's the time? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like seven. Yeah. We went food shopping 
which probably took a lot longer than I thought it would. And for some reason, I just feel really, really crap. Don't know why. I just feel really like poopy. Um, yeah, I know. Like, there's no real reason, and like, I shouldn't, because I've had a really good day. But I just feel really kind of like meh. Do you know what I mean? You probably don't. I don't know. Um, so I'm literally just putting on some jogger balls. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to quickly tidy the bedroom up because I've just got clothes everywhere. So I'm going to try and tidy this up before it gets any later because otherwise it's the last thing I want to do before I go to bed. But yeah, and then I think I'm going to put on some friends or watch a film just to kind of like relax and chill a little bit because... And that's kind of one of the things I like to do when I feel really shit. Plus I need to reply back to those Instagram comments. Um, so it's nice to watch something whilst doing that. Um, one thing though that I do want to show you is picked up orange and coconut milk washing up liquid. It's, it's, it's just orange. <laughs> <laughs> I can't smell the coconut, which is disappointing, but um, at least the orange is nice. Anything else in here, which is good. Oh, picked up these, the Lotus Biscoff Cream Biscuits. So these are only actually kind of recently new. So I'm very excited about these. Um, I'm not quite in the mood to try them. I feel very full and yeah, I don't want anything sweet right now. Um, so I'll probably try these tomorrow. I forgot we got these, Eli. I know, I really want to try one. Uh, I got some bagels for 60p. Reduced. We've got some pita bread. Oh, Eli got um, vegetarian ravioli. And that's it. That's kind of everything that's sort of interesting. Um, I'm going to, like I mentioned, probably put on some friends and just relax for the evening. It's 20 past 10. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I've just woken up from a nap. How long was I actually asleep for? Oh, no. I no, no. Um, yeah. And just woke up and you really, really poop. So Eli, he's made me a cup of tea and um i think it's time we try the biscuits to be honest so i thought i have to document this otherwise i'll forget tomorrow so yeah do you want one eli um yeah i'll have to <laughs> we do you want to wait till tomorrow no. you sure Mmm, they smell delicious. Oh, the question is, do I dunk it? I'm gonna dunk mine. Yeah? You like? Well. Yeah. I haven't tried it dry, let me try it dry. This is the most sleepy, boring, like, monologue you've ever given and I've ever given. Me? We're just half asleep. They're better when you dunk them in a tea. Not bad, though. Anyway, I'm enjoying my cup of tea. And then um, head to bed, I think. So, good night. And see you tomorrow. Happy Friday. Um, it is it's 10 to one. Um, but I haven't really done much this morning apart from just kind of go on my laptop, do a few emails and stuff. Um, and then did a bit of the washing up. Although there's just a load more now because we just had lunch. Put a dishwasher on as well, so I had to load that. Um, had a bagel for lunch. And then a Rolo yogurt, which is my favorite. Um, and then I think me and Eli are going to go for a little walk. So, yeah, that's literally it.
to update you. Might get an ice cream dependent on whether we feel cold because of the weather. But yeah, I was going to wear this. I was going to wear my green blazer. But then I was like, oh, it's a bit smart and kind of thick. So that's why I just went for this kind of slouchy, comfy look. Um, it's really strange actually how cute this little mask is. My mum's friend made it and so mum gave it to me because obviously to, since, no, yeah, from today, which is the 24th of July, you have to wear a mask whenever you go into like shops. Although I saw somewhere it's not, you don't have to wear it in restaurants. It's only like shops and banks and yeah, stuff. Shop, shop. Um, so I'm going to bring it with me in case we need to go into any shops. I don't know if we will, but got to bring it just in case. But look how cute it is. It's like yellow stripes. Adorable. I also have... Why are you just staring? Now I have a good tip though. Go on. Because apparently, like, obviously you can wash them. Yeah. It's very useful. Good way of doing it is ironing it. Because it's the heat. It has to be above 60 degrees to kill it. Mm. Apparently. Mm. So yeah, irons. Iron there you go. Masks. Iron your masks. There you go guys. Um, I have my H&M order arriving today. Yay! Woo! Um, so that will be delivered soon. I actually ordered as well. Let me show you. Let me get it out. I don't know if you guys know, but um, like the mushroom lamp is kind of like the new in thing for home interior. I bought one. <laughs> God. Um, but anyway, the one that I bought isn't really like the typical mushroom lamp. I don't know like the one I bought is a mushroom lamp but it's not like the typical looking ones so I got this one which is from Rose and Grey um you can see it here oh is it focused and like this is it oh look how cute it looks and it's got the little lines um but it was 120 quid and then it had a 50% sale so it was only 60 pounds only 60 quid <laughs> mate you do not know how expensive the actual mushroom lamps are. I'm excited yes, for that to arrive. Lamps are all just light bulbs on a stick. Yes, they are. But yeah, that is arriving next week, so you'll see it next week. <laughs> <laughs> you are on one today. I swear, I can't do fucking vlogging. I'm so shit at it. Um, yeah, we're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello, we are back. Oh my god, like, I look windswept right now. Whew. Went for a little walk along the beach and it was very, very windy. I'm actually sweating. How gross. My armpits are like literally wet. Yeah, so we went for a little walk along the beach and then we stopped on like a bench and sat down for a little bit. And then we we're on our way back home. And we walked past a little charity shop and we didn't realise it was open again. So Eli was like, oh, should we pop in there? And we did. And I actually bought quite a few things. So I'm going to show you. So the first thing I picked up is this little glass vase. How adorable is this? I think this was £2. £2. I love the little handles and the glass is kind of like textured as well. Oh my god, you can see my gross nails. I'm so sorry. Um, it's like a really lovely pale green colour, which I just thought was really, really cute. Um, also this bowl here, this was, I think, £3. I just really like it. Look at it, it looks really kind of like, I don't know, I just love the texture and the ceramic and I thought if I want to put like little snacks in there or blueberries or strawberries or whatever I can, so I got that. Then picked up this little jug here, which I thought was adorable. I really love the... Um, it's not really a pattern, but like the speckled and the brown edging. This one was four quid and I thought, oh my god, like for milk or for orange juice or anything, it's just adorable. You know, I was like for gravy, but I don't know. But yeah, look how cute the big handle is. Woo! And then Eli spotted this and it's a 10 piece crockery set. The same, oh my god, okay. The same as, um, the jug and all of this 10 piece set for 10 pounds i was like okay i'll have that so i'm sorry i'm gonna have to take this off because i'm actually sweating Whew, geez i just wear it like this it's fine 
What is the time? Sure, I've got five minutes. I've got a meeting at three o'clock. Um, so I've got four of these adorable little plates. Um, I don't know what I'd use these for, but they're really cute. And then I've got two slightly bigger plates. Hang on. Yeah, so these are ah, slightly bigger than those ones. And then we've got two medium-sized plates here. And then we've got another two big dinner plates here. So for all that, £10. Yeah, I'm really happy with these purchases. I think they're adorable. So, yay. Um, but like I said, I'm going to go get a drink. And then I need to set up on the desk because I've got a meeting at 3 o'clock. And I'm not quite sure how long the meeting's going to be. Um, but I will catch you after the meeting. And yeah. Yay! Look what's arrived. <laughs> My huge H&M home delivery. Yay. I'm out of breath. I'm going to carry up fucking stirs. Okay, so Eli hasn't seen any of these either. Let's start off with a new tea towel. Pretty. It's cute. It's linen as well. So I got a striped one and then I also got like a textured um, green one. I thought the colours are really nice. So I got those. Oh, so they're a lot bigger than what I thought. I thought it was just going to be teeny tiny. This little vase there you go it's like speckled as well i really like how small it is although i do think it'd be smaller then we've got this little one look how cute this is <gasps> it's like proper it's really rough as well um again this is that ceramic textured material there you go there you go and look at the cute little handles as well yeah. Right. Oh you shit. Got him. Yeah. So look how cute these are. These are mango wood um dishes. Oh no, my battery's low. No. Alright. Take three. Yes, I got these um bamboo no not bamboo. Mango wood bowls. I just thought they're really cute, especially like if we eventually have guests over, i.e my parents or Eli's brother I just thought it would be really cute for snacks and although it was 20 quid which at first I thought was really really expensive you do get free bowls and a cute little tray so yeah um okay these are the two things I'm excited about the most look at this vase oh my days I love it I love it it's um, speckled again, so ceramic. But yeah, I just think it's a really, hello. I think it's a really cool <laughs> um, shape. <laughs> this is 20 quid, I think. 20 quid, I don't mind, I like it. And then, oh, this is really heavy. Lastly, I can't get it out. That's what she said. Whoa. Ta -da! <gasps> Look at it. Do you like it? It's so weird and I love it. So I did maybe go a bit overboard with the vases. But H&M Home have the best vases ever and I was scared they were going to sell out so I was like fuck it I'm going to buy them. Um, so I'm pretty sure I have about 20 vases now in this flat. But uh, yeah, happy days. But look, look, the vase little pot thing I bought from the charity shop I put some water in it and then took one of the carnations and popped it in there. How sweet does it look? Yay. It is a quarter to 12. Um, I FaceTime mum for like probably about an hour. Um, had a hot chocolate and then, oh me and Eli also watched the film Tag, which was really, really funny. 
and then I also watched the film The Kissing Booth 2 um, which is just like a cheesy chick flick film but it was really good but yeah it is quarter to 12 now and I'm gonna head to bed and leave this here so yeah thank you for watching and I shall see you soon bye